Good morning. Now today we are going to study about the biology. First of all, you understand what is biology. Okay. Just like you have seen, the, there are different kinds of things we see around us. Okay. The, they are different shape in size. Like you see, just like around us, we see the different kinds of plants, animals, animals, okay, uh, microorganism, microorganism, insects, insects. The these types of things we are seeing, we see some non-living things also. So in this way we can classify that, that the, all things found around us classified into the two groups. Okay? All things are classified into the two groups, living things, living things and non-living things. Living things and non-living things. Living things again classified into the two groups. Okay? The animal kingdom, animal kingdom, Kingdom and plant kingdom. Plant kingdom. Okay. In animal kingdom, we study about the animals, and in plant kingdom, we study about the plants. Okay. First of all, you understand what is biology. Okay. What is the meaning of biology? Biology is biology is derived from two Greek words. Okay, what types of word? Greek word. Greek words bios and logos and logos. Bios means life. And logos means a study. Okay? We, the biology is derived from two Greek words, bios and logos. Bios means life and logos means a study. In this way, we can define the biology is a branch of science. Biology is a branch of science, science in which, which we study, study about living things, living things, okay, living things, just like we have classified here, Bi uh, biology is the classification of, biology classified into, biology classified into two groups, animal kingdom, animal kingdom, kingdom and plant kingdom. Animal kingdom and plant kingdom. Again, animals classified into two groups. Okay, animal kingdom. Vertebrates. <coughs> In vertebrates and vertebrates. Okay. Animal kingdom classified into the two groups. In vertebrates. And vertebrates. Plant kingdom also classified into two groups: cryptogams, 
Victor, James, and Henry James. Animals kingdom classified into two groups: invertebrates and vertebrates. Plant kingdom classified into two groups: diplodocus and chondrogams. Chondrogams. Now we study about the invertebrates. Okay. Father of biology. Father of biology. Aristotle. Aristotle is called the father of biology. Okay. The living things classified the animal kingdom classified into two groups: invertebrates. In hearty breads and hearty breads. Hearty breads. In hearty breads are those organisms which which does not, which don't have the backbone or notochords. Okay. The which animals are called in hearty breads? Those organisms which the, which don't have in their body the backbone or notochords are called invertebrates. Just like invertebrates, we can give the example: the butterfly, earthworm, and the some microorganisms, amoeba, paramecia, euglena. These types of organisms are called in, uh, invertebrates. Again, invertebrates are classified into the nine phyla. They are called protozoa. After that, Silentata, um, protozoa, Silentata. After that, the um, Platyhelminthus, Echinodermata. The, there are the, all as uh, we can tell the all phylum are classified into the nine groups. And the after that the vertebrates. Okay, which uh, organisms are called uh, vertebrates? The uh, organisms or animals which have the notochords or backbone in their body is are called the vertebrates. Just like the human beings, animals like cow, goat, buffalo, after that fish, um, fish, um, uh, the birds, these animals are belongs to the, um, belongs to the phylum vertebrates. Okay. They have and they have the different kinds of the, uh, their body structure. Some are small, some are big, some are the two large. In this way, we can classify the invertebrates and vertebrates. Invertebrates called the animals which have not have not have backbone, and vertebrates the uh, those animals which have the backbone in their body are called the vertebrates. In this chapter, you will study about the vertebrates. In vertebrates, we have read in the class six, and in this class, you will study about the vertebrates. Okay. First of all, what are the characteristics of the vertebrates? Okay. Characteristic. Characteristics of vertebrates. First of all, they have not they have backbone. They they have backbone bone in their body. Okay. 
first of all, the main characteristic of the vertebrates are they have backbone in their body. They have brain, the, the brain is enclosed, closed in bony structure. A structure called called cranium. Okay, brain is enclosed in the bony structure called cranium. They have paired limbs for locomotion. They have paired paired limbs for Means for locomotion. For locomotion. Okay. They have prepared limbs for locomotion. After that, they respond. They breathe through. They breathe, breathe through gills, gills, a skin or, or lungs. Okay. They breathe through gills, a skin. Our lungs, they are, they are ovary, various, or baby, various. Okay? Baby, various, and baby, various. And they they are oviparous and they, they reproduce by the sexual reproduction. Okay, the reproduction takes place, place the sexually or asexually. In this way, we can we, we can write the characteristics of the vertebrates. Okay, again, vertebrates classified into two groups. Vertebrates classified into the two groups. World blooded, world blooded animals and warm blooded animals okay vertebrates are classified into the two groups cold blooded animals and warm blooded animals which animals are called cold blooded animals the those animals with body temperature does not remain constant according to the surrounding are called the cold blooded animals Thus, like the uh, vertebrates are classified into the five five phyla, they are called the pieces, and the tiles, birds, amphibians, mammals. Okay, so among them, the some animals have changed their body temperature according to the surrounding temperature. Does not remain constant. Are called the cold blooded animals in the winter season. Uh, to protect them from protect their body from the extreme cold, they go and in the under the soil to protect uh, from the cold and they keep their body the keep their body warm. And just like the toad, a snake, um, turtles, reptiles, these animals are called the cold-blooded animals. These um, animals. 
in, in generally in the winter of season. Um, winter season, not seen outside, in the outside, uh, in that condition. This condition is called the hibernation. Then, yeah, you can see it's like, I mean, it's to hibernate, go, it's to body, condition called the man, you have one hibernation. So, in the way that it's to characteristic part, the man, the body, it's like, you know, high, Thailand mark class hibernation, the circus are pieces, amphibians, reptiles, ants, mammals, to usko habitat called Hana class hibernation, cold blooded animals, warm blooded animals, cold blooded animals, body temperature change, it's around the good temperature concern, the warm blooded animals, body temperature. Always constant in such a circuit. Normal body temperature of human beings go 37 degrees C. And to 37 degrees C, temperature increase, decrease, which are very good. So, see, which are instant cold blooded animal apply protect the name. So, for instant cold blooded animal, body like to winter cinema to Jamil to be a protect person, just like an insult, winter sleep an insult. Okay, and winter just like how many reptiles fly by the head in a turtle slide, frog fly by the head in a snake fly by the head in a. You use some of the things that you can do with the slave and it's a winter sleep. Winter sleep, but even it's a hibernation. But when it's a this not protect from the answer, it's to animals how like given it's a quite you know, how it's very much animals like the slave body temperature change that's a. This like quite low thermic body, man is a changing temperature. Just the body co temperature change on the upper body co. This like man is a. This ma amsa the body weight co do highlam man is a. Five chota. This ma amsa species co. That this pachi reptiles amsa. This ma this pachi wild blood animal ma amsa. Birds sa apes. This pachi. Um, my main sounds are your animals have like warm blooded animal like homeothermic means. Kineki is co body temperature, jelly constant answer. SI Hamile is like a classic high panigana sasa, differentiate panigana sasa. The Seriki, the right differences between the living things and um, non living things. This was she left us as the right differences between. The invertebrates and vertebrates. After that, you can write a differential between cold blooded animals and the warm blooded animals. Cold blooded for just to body temperature, change from the surrounding temperature for something. It's like cold blooded panicha, it's like to activate thermic body panicha, it's like body like winter ma, after body ko like protect the name, soil to winter dancer, the ha, it's like a gotcha. सांस लेने पहले को एस्किन यूज़ करते हैं एस्किन ले यूज़ करते हैं तो तो इसमें सी वार्म ऐसे लाइक वाइट कलर था मिंग ऐसे लाइक इसको बॉडी टेम्परेचर कांस्टेंट था कहीं लेकर चेंज हो गया ना इसमें आउट था हार्टी ब्रेड्स को एम सुन था मैन मेल साउंड था इस लाइक बम्बई था नहीं पनी 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 था इस माँ कहीं ले बनी उसको बॉडी टेम्परेचर चेंज हो गया ना बॉडी टेम्परेचर चेंज भाग बनी के ऊंचा यूज़ सिख ऊंचा वर्टिब्रेट्स आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू द फाइव क्लासेस दे आर पीसेज ओके एम्फीबियंस रेप्टाइल्स बर्ड्स एंड द मेम्ब्रेन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर नेचर बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर एंड द हैबिटेट दे आर क्लासिफाइड इनटू द फाइव क्लासेस ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पीसेज जनरली the the in the characteristic of the pieces characteristics of says they live in they live in fresh as well as marine water and marine water, okay, 
their body is streamlined or board shaped. Body is streamlined or called a board shaped. They move, they have. They have fins for locomotion, motion, tail, tail helps in changing direction, direction. They breathe through. They breathe through. Gains. They are. They are Ogi Pairs. Okay. So, what are the characteristics of the PC? In the PC general, we study about the characteristic of the fish. The fish can live in the fresh water as well as marine water. Fresh water means marine water, means salty water. Fresh water means marine water. Their body is streamlined and we can tell the boat set. Okay? They have fins for the locomotion. In the, in the swimming, uh, uh, in the water for the swimming, they have the fins which help to move from one place to other place. Tail help in, helps in the changing direction. Kuni pani place ma direction change garne sa, bhani ko esko tail le help wad sa. They breathe through gills, okay. Is like gills reke gar sa, water ma dissolve oxygen lai, absorb garna na help wad sa. This is the other thing, sir. They breathe through gills and they are oviparous. Oviparous paneko reproduce by giving egg or laying egg. Okay? It's my reproduction paneko. Egg water, sir. This is the other thing, sir. They are oviparous. So these are the characteristics of the pieces. After that, you will study about the characteristics of the amphibian. 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 Okay. Second class of the vertebrate is amphibian. Amphibian haniko. Amphi means both. Yen haniko like. Amphi haniko meaning huncha. Is both as well as. Okay, they can live in water, they need water and can live on the land also. Is for life material, sir? Amphibian needs both water also and need the land also. Okay? Due to this reason, they are called the amphibian, just like the frog, toad. These in the day and the early stage. They for their production need the water. Okay, they lay egg in the water and growth of the frog or tadpole takes place in the water. Uh, when developed, okay, then they reach on the land. Okay, so due to this reason, they are called the amphibians. So what are the characteristic of the uh, amphibians? They can live. Okay, characteristic. Characteristics of amphibian they can live live in water as well as on land. Okay, they have pair limbs, they have paired 
लिंस खर लोको मशान लोको मशान ओके आफ्टर दैट बॉडी इज डिवाइडेड इनटू हेड एंड ट्रंक बॉडी इज डिवाइडेड इनटू हेड एंड ट्रंक ओके दे ब्रीथ थ्रू लंग्स ऑन द लैंड दे ब्रीथ थ्रू लंग्स ऑन द लैंड दे ब्रीथ थ्रू लंग्स गिल्स and a skin okay they are they are curvy pedas okay they are curvy pedas from the name of the amphibians clear naam bata ne sun clear cha isle kasari amphibian ho क्योंकि इसलिए वाटर में पनी रहना सकता, लैंड में पनी रहना सकता, तो क्योंकि अर्ली स्टेज में रिप्रोडक्शन को लाएगी, तो रिप्रोडक्शन इजी, इस्टर्नल, है ना इसमें रिप्रोडक्शन का सोचा है इस्टर्नल है ना, इसलिए पानी में गए रह, एक दिन एक दिन चा, तो इस पर ही मेल प्रागले, इसको माथी एस्पर्म एस्पीड कर सा जस्ट लेकर आता है प्रोडक्शन हो सा इसलिए आगे एस्टेट में इसलिए वाटर में चाइन सा तेज पक्षी इसलाय लोकोमोशन को लाय लोकोमोशन भाजी को चेंजिंग प्लेस एक ठाव बाटा आपको ठाव रिमूव करने तेज को लाय इसलाय प्लेयर डिलीवर हो सा बॉडी डिलीवर हो सा ये ट्रैक्टर को मां डेब्री थ्रो लंग्स � at the time of hibernation, they use the skin for the respiration. They are oviparous. They reproduce by laying egg. Due to this reason, they are called the oviparous. In our vita characteristic complete work, the fishes and amphibians. Next, the reptiles, apes, ramenids. Esho characteristic ko baare ma hamye aapko kya class ma. मैंने को डिस्कस करने उसको बारे में डिटेल्स तभी करने, ओके, बाय